love is strangers Believe me when I say Loving me is love in danger Your heart is bound to break I walk alone in the night Neat the pale moon Loving's for the fools Baby, beware of my mind I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf I'm a, I'm a, I'm a lone wolf This is Sims Fell, and welcome to episode 31 of the Sims 4 Vampire Amazon series. Now, when we left off in the last part, we were frankly disappointed because we had huge expectations and we thought Lady Ambrosia, you know what, now's the time, this time she's gonna have a girl, this time she's gonna have a girl. Unfortunately, she had a boy, not one, but two boys. She had twins, and so the curse of the Dark Green Line continues. I mean, at least we have some, I know this is so weird to talk about, uh, you know, like a, a, a baby. It's so weird to say this about a baby, but at least we have breeding stock for the future, okay? That's the brightest um, thing I got to say about what happened at the end of the last episode. And um, apart from that, look at look at the fabulous heiress right now. She's so pretty. I love her so much. But anyways... Um, I had Ambrosia move back into the castle, so she's going to be trying to, oh, yep, uh, not burn, <laughs> she's going to be trying to not burn, she's going to be trying to recover from that whole ordeal, but I think with the castle kind of being distracted by the Ophelia thing, they probably will feel more sad for Lady Ambrosia than they would feel angry at her. Because they already have someone to be angry at, if you guys know what I mean. So we've got that. In, oh, my sound was off. Whoopsies. So there we go. We've got that going on. And at least she's back with Kali now. And then she's got a little bit of something to, you know, get her mind off everything that happened. That sucks. That means Ambrosia's had the track record of three sons now. And uh, these are the two that she had. Sammy and Marcel. And, I mean, they're not going to be that important apart from being part of, you know, the breeding stock. So now we have five males in, uh, like, five ma males what? Mm -mm. Oh, from Generation 2. So there we go. We've got that happening. And apologize if I'm stumbling over my words. I don't know why that is. No, I do. It's because uh, I'm talking. And whenever I talk, I tend to stumble over my words. Now... Anyways, with that done, in the last episode, we had Cassandra the heiress age up into an immortal. Now, what that would normally mean is that she can now start thinking about challenging her mother for the crown. However, I remember at the very start, we put down a few rules of our own. And we said that because they're vampires, their situation's a little bit different from what normal human Amazons would be. Now, the queen must be a grandmaster in order for her offspring to challenge her for the crown. And she is not yet a grandmaster. She's a master vampire. So once she reaches grandmaster, and the thing is, right, even if we don't practice their skills and stuff, every time they drink, that's kind of them practicing their vampiric abilities. So they get um, a lot of these up from drinking as well. So there we go, she's going to get hers up eventually, whether or not she likes it, and then she's going to be challenged for the crown by her daughter. Now, I don't think she would mind it, it's just a natural uh, force, a natural thing that happens in life, uh, and, you know, as much as they love ruling or whatever, all the queens know that passing it on to the next generation, it's all about change. All right, change for the better. And sometimes what we can do or what a vampires can do in her generation is really limited by what she's kind of grown up with or what she knows. And so to make her, you know, kingdom, queendom better, she needs to pass it on to someone in the next generation who has new ideas and new thoughts and those kind of things. So there we go, we've got that happening. So Cassandra needs to start getting her skills up. But she doesn't really need to be um, 
you know, challenging her mother. She can't until her mother is a grand master. So there you go. We've got that happening. And、uh, I need to start actually looking at their power points and seeing what I can upgrade. Now the queen has a lot that I can upgrade. She has ten power points. So we're definitely going to be having a look at this right now. Hmm. So what's um? We don't need to take on any weaknesses right now. Manipulating common sims. No. Dampened emotions. Hmm. Interesting. No,、uh, she doesn't. She's not really prone to that. Um. What was this? Oh yeah, master of darkness. We're gonna get that. We're so gonna get that. We're getting that. Anything else we did, but we left. Um. She doesn't really need the whole vampiric charm thing. Mesmerize. Irresistible slumber. Manipulate life spirit. Um, she doesn't need that because that's actually really good to have if you've got the sloppy drinker because it kind of cancels that out. So there we go. That's something we learned with Lady Kali.、Um, and vampiric slumber. You know what? I'm gonna get the vampiric slumber as well. I think that's pretty fun. And there we go. That's the upgrades we did for her. And oh, Lady Kali has so many points. Jeez. Okay, let's have a look at her. So.、Ooh. I've never, ever, ever had access to any of these top ones before, so I am excited. Okay, mortal pleasures. <gasps> Funny doesn't decrease anywhere, but I don't know if she seeks fun that much. Tamed thirst on her own. No, see that? Yeah, totally. I would take it. The thing is, regardless of whether or not they autonomously go and drink,、um, you know, whether or not they have self control. Of、um, if they're gonna go themselves and have a drink, if their thirst gets low, then they can die from that. So no, thank you.、Uh, and what's it? Why? Why can't I access that? I do have enough points. That doesn't make sense. What? Social need doesn't decrease anymore. See, I would love to have that. I would love to have that, but I can't access that. I don't know if that's a glitch or what's happening, but I can't do that. Um, I've got mist form. Oh. Gain the power to teleport anywhere in a cloud of mist. That sounds pretty fun. And influence <gasps> emotions. Whoa, whoa ho! I think she would definitely be having that. I mean, as the warrior, if we try to interrogate someone, how cool would it be if we could influence their emotions? Mm-hmm. Or if we're trying to find the truth or something like that. Like, oh, that would be good. So we're gonna get that for sure. I agree. And then we might save up. And what are these? Undead aura. Oh, that's something that、uh, Ambrosia would have for sure. Eternal sadness? No, I don't want anyone to have that. And she doesn't need to take on any weaknesses. I think not, unless you need a weakness to actually gain that. Hmm. Hmm. Is that the case? I don't think so. It said once you're a grand master, you can take on more powers without having to take on weaknesses. Uh. Oh gosh, dang it! <laughs> I need to take on a weakness. Okay, guys, what weakness would we have? Intense dephobia. Hmm. 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 I don't want that. I don't want any of that. Ah, gosh, dang! I'm gonna go with withered stomach. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, what do you mean? I need to take on two more weaknesses. I don't want to take on two more weaknesses. Ah. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's try and、uh, let's try and get. The, would it cancel out?、Uh, but it conflicts with vampiric slumber. Gosh dang it! Okay. You know what?、Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want that. Thank you very much.、Um, what about guilty drinker? The guilty or dayphobia? You know what? I'll give her intense dayphobia. Yep, intense as well. Thin skin's different. Thin skin kills you.、Um, Dayphobia just gets rid of your powers. It's not that dramatic, okay, guys? Not that bad. So there we go. We've got that happening. Oh, <laughs> from hitting the daytime.、Uh, yeah, she's got intense dayphobia. Well, have fun with that, darling.、Um, I'm sure you'll be able to get past it in no time. And the others don't really have that much.、Um, Cynthia has a few that I could use. Definitely spending it on that because that's very important. We all know that by now. And、uh, no, we don't need that. We don't need that command. No, we don't need that. Vampire charm.、Um, we could totally get that. 
uh, you know what, let's get some charm. Because I don't know what else to spend it on, guys. And um, given her personality, you know what, I like getting them very similar stuff because some of these, okay guys, honestly, yes, vampires are fun to play, mainly for me because of the way they look, but it's very hard to manage them as it is with the not going out in the sun, but mostly the thirst because that depletes so quick, quicker than food, and it's not as easy to fulfill it as food because of the supply of blood you have with other sims. And then with the weaknesses, the more you get, especially like some of them are not that harmful, like the ones I've picked off most of them, they aren't harmful. You can cancel them out with effects from here, or you can just, like you get through them, it's not that bad, but anything with the sun or things that um, inhibit you, like your thirst from going up, that's honestly going to be such a headache to play for anyone. Like honest advice out there, best stay away from those, especially if you're playing vampires for a lot, like long periods of time. Anyways, that was a lot of talking and just getting a few ad, uh, administration stuff done. And um, yeah, now that's done, I'm gonna take a short break. And then when we come back, we're gonna continue with the stories of these ladies because we don't actually have any birthdays for the next few days or holidays. So whew, we can actually relax. I don't have to, you know, meet any deadlines. No one's aging up. It's, it's all fun stuff, guys. It's all fun stuff. So we can... Um, start getting all of that good stuff done and uh, yeah pay more attention to these ladies like because we've been neglecting them their or, or their stories not them but the stories for the past few episodes so there we go i'll be back in a bit okay my lovelies we are back and i did a little bit of thinking about um the whole um prison what was it brandy foss there we go i did a bit of thinking about brandy foss and I did say, I think in the last part or before that, I'm not sure, I think in the part before that, I said that I would actually deal with the title of her role, which I never did. But anyways, I just thought about it in that little break there. And I have decided to officially call the role that Brandy Foss has um, that of a prison lord. So yes, she is a female and not a male. But that doesn't matter. If any of you have played Skyrim, then you will know that some of their princes, the Daedric princes, are actually female. So using that logic, I've gone ahead and um, named that role the Prison Lord. So there we go. Brandy Foss is the Prison Lord of Salazar Prison Fort. So there we go. That's exciting. I'm really happy to have that out of the way. And uh, I don't know. Prison Lord just sounds really cool. It sounds better than Prison Warden. It also sounds better than Prison Master. Like, prison lord. Say it, guys. It's, it just it sounds great. So there we go. We've got that going on. And I want to go around and look at uh, a few of their wishes. But also, I was thinking in this episode, you guys haven't actually seen the fort. So maybe we can go visit the prison fort and visit Ophelia with Lady Kali. Because I think Kali wanted to do a bit more of interrogation for Ophelia. Because of what Cynthia said. Because I think a few episodes ago, Cynthia actually approached... Um, Lady Kali and said, you know, even though she caught um, Ophelia red-handed, she doesn't believe that it's in Ophelia's nature to actually do something like that. So Kali's had a little bit of doubt put into her mind because of what her daughters expressed towards her. So I think she wants to go back again and try interrogating Ophelia a second time to figure out a little bit more of why whatever happened happened because to be honest they've got other stuff going on so they've kind of sidelined that issue but that is the main issue we haven't really like they haven't addressed that or the queen hasn't made um or given a definitive answer as to what really ophelia has been like um a queenie are you okay queenie is my queenie stuck oh there we go she's fine just have to reset her but yeah, there we go. Um, we have got that stuff happening. Now, what did I... Oh, also, I wanted to get some skills up. We wanted to get some skills up, didn't we? Yes, we did. Right. So, the skills we wanted to get up. So, we wanted Lady Amanda... Who do you want? Yeah, I wanted to get her to do a bit more of... She's been looking after her... her um, Oh, we need to apply the termite treatment. Jeez. Apply some treatments. Jeez. Okay. And we need to collect these plants. 
Uh, we tend to forget about a garden a lot, but I did go ahead and actually get her to water them. So we need to harvest everything so that we can actually use this stuff. Darling, are you having trouble getting out of the chair? Are you having trouble? Oh, jeez Louise, for the love of all that works, please, thank you, get off the chair. These ladies, what's up with the, with the glitches? Like, come on, get your act together. Apply mite treatment and then go harvest all of that. Please tell me you're going to start, walk, uh, start walking towards your garden. Please. Ambrosia, what's, uh, not Ambrosia, Amanda, what's wrong with you? Are these ladies okay? Okay, there we go. She was taking a bit to walk. Okay, that's fine. She's going to go down and do that. While she's doing that, I'm going to put in some wishes of these ladies. Now, let's see. Oh, look at them doing their homework. Let's see what they want to get up to. So, Nar did Lilith. Lilith. I was mixing up Narcissus and Lilith's names in the last part. Whoopsies. But okay, Lilith wants to challenge him to foosball. That's all anyone's been wanting to do ever since I put the foosball table in. But you know what? It doesn't matter. It builds fun and builds relationship. Um... Oh, Mariana, get to know Narcissa. No, you know what? We're going to get to know Narcissa. We'll do, we'll do the nicer thing, yeah? Yeah. Okay, Narcissa, look at that. They actually want to interact with each other. She wants to be friendly with Morgana. We can put that in. Um, okay, Ambrose is very flirty. And uh, she wants to get to know Cynthia. This flirty girl wants to get to know her stepdaughter. So we can definitely arrange that. And Queen Sheba... <gasps> Um, I mean, it's not too bad, is it? Ah, I mean, hmm, God, I don't know what I mean anymore. We did establish that Ambrosia and Lady Kali used to regularly flirt with the queen before they got involved with each other when the queen was pregnant. Um, like both times with Narcissa and Lilith. But... The queen stopped actually making any advances towards them after they got betrothed to each other. Because that's kind of, you know, you're kind of respecting their space and their relationship. But it looks like the queen wants to flirt with Lady Kali. Interesting. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal, I guess, if the queen wants to flirt with them. Because it's the queen. You can't really reject the queen. Um... But it does become a problem if the queen falls in love with one of them, which she hasn't yet. Um, she's been flirting with them a lot, but she hasn't, like, in the past. But she never fell in love with them. She hasn't ever been in love with anyone, I think. Um, but, yeah, as long as she doesn't fall in love with them. But it becomes a problem if they autonomously flirt with her or if they have wishes to flirt with the queen because that means they're being unfaithful to their partner. I mean... You can debate as to how bad it is if you're unfaithful to your partner for the queen, but... Ah, okay, got that going on. She wants to get to know Sheba. Okay, it's, it's platonic on this end, at least. Uh, what does Cynthia want to do? Cynthia wants to bond with the bees. Nope, you can't. She wants to go for a jog. Uh, you know what? When the sun goes down, we'll send you out for a jog. And Cassandra wants to be funny with Cynthia. Cute, cute. And... Oh, she... Lady Amanda wants to be funny with Lady Ambrosia. I wonder why that is. Could it... Okay, these girls, why are they... They keep uh, glitching. Why is that? Darling? Why is she glitching? No, honestly, they keep glitching. I don't know what's wrong with that. They shouldn't be glitching that much. See, now she's doing it. Before she was just glitching. But she wants to be funny with Lady Ambrosia. And I'm wondering if that's because... Okay, honestly, guys, what is happening? She's not doing what she's supposed to do. Oh, God. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to reset these ladies. Wait, let me try. Testing. Cheats. True. And how do you reset? Oh, gosh, dang it. Re... Is that how you do it? Reset. Sim. Or is it dot sim? Reset. We'll try a bunch. I think it's just resets him. Oh, jeez. I don't know my cheats. Um, Lady Amanda. What's her last name? Uh, Devil. 
Nope, that's not the cheat. Reset dot sim lady. Um, mm, geez, Amanda double. Nope. Reset capital sim. <laughs> ah, lady Amanda devil. Nope. Okay, guys, I don't know how this cheat works. I'm gonna have to search it up later on. Whoopsies. Oh well. She looks like she's thoroughly stuck. So, um, maybe we should just get her to stop trying to fix the bees and just try and just harvest or something. Okay, so now you're not going to even let me click on you? Okay, we're just going to abandon her for now. Okay, guys. Actually, now that I think about it, nobody's been able to do anything. Why is that now? They're stuck with the... Are you guys noticing this? It's just me. No, they've been all stuck with the same interactions for a while now. This is concerning. This is concerning. I thought it was natural, but it's actually not. Look at that. Queen stuck at cards. Morgana's standing there. I'm fairly positive, guys, that I put the, uh, yeah, autonomy is on full. So what's happening? These ladies are stuck. And my game is glitching. Gosh dang it. Well, since that's happening, I'm actually going to take a break here, try and fix this mess, and uh, then I'll be right back. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, we're back. I tried to reset the ladies. I'm not sure if um, everyone got reset. I reset everyone in the household, but I think there might have been a little bit of a problem with all the ones who have um, ladies in their names because that's like... Uh, you know, two words as a first name and then as a last name. So I don't know if the game's getting confused or even picking that up. Um, because it doesn't seem like they're getting reset much, if at all. But, like, like I didn't see a visual cue that they were being reset. But the others I did. But oh well, we're just going to carry on. You know what? I guess we could find out and see if she can actually harvest the plants. But then again, is it a problem with the plants? Reset object. Can you harvest all now? I mean, I want to know, but at the same time, I don't want her to get stuck again. But this is this is a terrible problem. <laughs> every time. Something happens every time. I guess we'll see whether or not this works. Oh, so she did get reset. Sweet. Everyone got reset. Cool. Okay, she's going to go get that. And then when she's done... I think I want to do a little bit more on her um, herbalism skill. So let's just see what she can brew. And then maybe we can get some of those um, insects. So she needs a walking stick, a termite, a locust, and firefly. Walking stick, termite, locust, firefly. Walking stick, locust... Um, termite and firefly. Walking stick, locust, termite, and firefly. Walking stick, uh, crap, what was it? Walking stick, locust, um, termite, and firefly. Mm. Walking stick, and yep. Looks like out of everything, that's all the stuff that we can use right now. At least where her skill is up to, that's all we can use. So we're going to get those. Mm, come on. Okay, she's not glitched. She's working. I can see the thing working down here. So she's going to pop that in her inventory as well. Did she? She didn't, she didn't pop that in. I said to pop that in your inventory as well. Is she glitching again now? Because I, 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 I can't handle this much glitching. Ah, come on, woman. Why? Oh, uh, what does that mean? No, there is not locust. Okay, you know what? She obviously can't do this manually, so I'm going to have to do it. Um, I mean, she can't do that by herself, so I'm just going to have to do it manually. Yes, yes. Okay, walking stick. Yep, put it in. Um, that's cool. Will-o'-the-wisp is awesome. Uh, locust, uh, fire, nope, uh, dragonfly, 
B, walking stick, yep, and I think that was all. Right, and then we can get her to make some more stuff. So let's get her to brew some more herbal remedies, so de-stressing decoction, and we'll get her to brew a soothing skin balm. I did get a comment from one of you guys. I'm so sorry, I forgot who, but I did get a comment um, with you guys saying that, yeah, it is a bit unhelpful with the herbalism skill at the beginning at least because you can't really do much with the insect repellent especially. But the more you get in your skill, you have potions that increase fertility, potions that help with uh, changing the mood and those kind of things. So thank you a lot for that. But I did want to, you know, kind of use these still, but in a more creative way. So, like, you know, we could come up with our own effects of these potions and those kind of things and what they help with and what they don't. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, feel free to leave that down in the comments below. Um, I'd love to have a read of some of those. But there we go, we've got that happening. And as um, she's doing this, I think we should go and start completing some of the wishes of the other ladies around the house. And look at that. It looks like Emperor just really started getting into the Orion from, um, what was that day? Ah, uh, it was a, was it Death Fest? I think it was Death Fest. Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't know if it was Death Fest or it was the one of the goddess days, but I remember um, we got the, them to, you know, go on the organs and stuff. And ever since then, she's really gotten into it. But anyways, where is Narcissa? She wanted to go ahead and get to know Narcissa. So why don't you go? Narcissa's right there. And get to know her. There we go. Get to know. Go on and talk to Narcissa Morgana. Seems like they're really getting along. Which is interesting and awesome. It seems to me that Amanda's never around when they're um, pursuing a friendship with each other. Which is uh, quite funny, to be honest. Um, and these bad outdoors. Sure, go and do that. Oh, she sounds so excited. She sounds so excited. Okay, cool. Okay, there we go. Be excited. Tell her about all the, the, the things that you like about the outdoors. And how beautiful the outdoors is. And how she should not spend time just in her mother's uh, garden. And she should spend time outside and interacting with other people. Okay. Yeah, except Queenie, the plasma packs don't do anything. Or the plasma fruits. So we've got two down, and she wanted to get to know Cynthia. And I think, oh yeah, get to know Cynthia. Come on here and get to know her. So, interesting thing, in the most recent part that came out, um, I think if it's part 17 maybe? Was it get to know? Yeah, get to know. I think it was part 17, which was 17 or 18, not sure, but one of those part, it was the ill-fated romance, I think. The, the part where Ambrosia and Kali actually start having romantic wishes towards each other. Uh, I had one of you guys comment that, um, you know, you guys were saying, oh, I wonder how Cynthia feels having an evil stepmother, especially since they dislike each other and everything. And it's pretty funny because back then when it happened, I thought the exact same thing, except since then, They've actually uh, gotten over that. They're no longer kind of enemies. They've started, started becoming friends to a certain degree. Or they're, you know, acquaintances. But there's, there's not bad blood between them, which is interesting. Uh, Cassandra, see, Ambrosia has managed, I think ever since Ophelia's downfall, she has managed to get back in the good books of everyone except for Morgana. So that's quite interesting. Even Lilith is, like, okay with her to an extent. But she's quite good. I mean, she's in the green with Cassandra. She's quite good with Cynthia. Uh, Narcissa is in the green. Lilith's in the green. Morgana is disliked by her. So there we go. She's the only child in the coven right now that Ambrosia doesn't like. Or that doesn't like Ambrosia. So that's quite interesting, actually. Uh, queen Shiva wanted to flirt with Kali. Now, I wonder how Ambrosia's going to take this. Because she's the queen. She can actually flirt with Kali whenever and wherever she wants. Um, it's up to the queen whether or not she respects the relationship. I mean, they can't do anything to retaliate, can they? So, there we go. Um, the queen's decided she wants to do this, and... Uh, oh, that's awkward. See, before, Kali used to accept that, and the others used to accept that. But 
look at Lady Kali. It seems like she has decided, no, she's going to be faithful. She doesn't care that it's uh, the queen. Oh, she thinks, I think it doesn't matter that the queen uh, wants, you know, to flirt with her or whatever, but she's already, it looks like Ambrose is getting angry. <laughs> ah. Yeah, look at her. She's getting angry. Ah. And she's decided to take off. Good, good choice, Ambrosia. Good choice. Okay, what's this? Flirty spouse. Honey, your betrothed was not flirting with anyone. The queen was flirting with Kali, and you clearly saw you clearly saw your betrothed blow her off or reject her. So there we go. We've got that happening. The queen doesn't seem any bit disturbed. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was a bit awkward, but I don't think the queen cares much. Um, she kind of took it. She took it. She she didn't care that she got blown off or whatever. But that was funny. Kali was like, ah, no queen. I am I'm a betrothed woman now. I'm betrothed. I'm gonna stay faithful to my woman. Okay. Kali wants to get to know Sheba. Yes. Well let's go ahead and do that. Get to know. Where is it? Get to know, get to know, get to know. Get to know, there we go. Everyone's wanting to get to know each other. How beautiful. So they're gonna go ahead and do that. And what did Cynthia want to do? Cynthia wanted to go for a jog. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Cynthia, I'm so sorry. Okay, go for a jog. Go jogging. Because it's not, um, the sun hasn't come up yet. The sun's gonna come up in a few hours. So you've got a little bit um, to go jogging. You've got like in, you know, two hours to go jogging. So why don't you go do that, darling? Actually, no, she's got four hours. What am I on about? Um, three and a half. So she's going to go jogging. There we go. In the night. Out jogging in the night. Casually. <sighs> I haven't had them go jogging outside um, in a while. Or ever, really. I never send them out to jog. Which isn't really that great. But she's going to go jogging. Enjoy the wonderful neighborhood. Or this lovely um, capital of the kingdom. And, uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Look at this. The beautiful new... Creature cradle on the side. Oh, this I love this. This is this is beautiful. This is stunning, and this place, the the the, the square, the park that looks like a coffin, absolutely brilliant. And she's just gonna go ahead and do that. And Cassandra wanted to be funny with Cynthia, so why don't you actually go chasing after Cynthia? Go chase after her. Okay, she's going to, yeah, she's going to go chase after Cynthia, and then she's going to tell her a funny story. <laughs> go on. Yep, you can chase after her and tell her a funny story. And I think everyone's just about done with what they wanted to do. Oh, and Amanda wants to be funny with Lady Ambrosia, yeah. Because she's, uh, I think, a bit worried that Lady Ambrosia might uh, spill the beans. Um, so replace, now come and... I don't know. She's not someone who would tell a joke about ducks. I think she would joke about politicians. Or we could take that as joke about politics. Because, yeah, that's something she would do. Maybe make, like, a remark about the political situation in the castle. You know? So, like, without it being too obvious. A subtle kind of joke or a nudge or something. Maybe some instructions. <laughs> Ah, gosh, okay, so we're gonna go do that. What was like? Okay, she's gonna go exercise. She's a really good warrior. She does exactly what she's supposed to. And Cassandra, okay, Cassandra gave up. <laughs> ah, she gave up. She came to the door and then she gave up. Cassandra, look, Cynthia's coming right back. She's coming back. Go tell her a funny story. Tell her a funny story. She's, look, she even came right back. She returned to the castle because she knew you couldn't make it out. You're supposed to be active, Cassandra. What's happening? What's going on? You're supposed to be active. Is she coming back to that? She's practically back. Okay, she stinks. Yes, she stinks. Um, nope. Okay, Cassandra's like, never mind. Um, Cynthia wants to go and take a bath, so that's what's going to happen. So, it looks like these ladies um, are starting to get really thirsty. So, I'm going to take a break here. I'm going to feed them up clean them up, do whatever else we need to do, and then we'll be right back. And actually, I think we'll pick up at 
the Salazar prison fort so I can show you guys around that place and we can go ahead and visit Ophelia and do some questioning and see what uh, is revealed over there so see you guys in a bit okay my lovelies we are back I had a break and then I made sure to get all the thirst up a bunch of stuff happened the flowers set the kitchen on fire um, Lady uh, Amanda almost set herself on fire because she glitched in front of the building and she didn't go inside and I forgot about her until I had to feed her. Ah! But anyways, got all of that done and uh, they are all sated and fed and their tummies are full. And we are here over at the Salazar prison fort for the first time to visit um, Ophelia, but most, more importantly, Brandy Foss and see how she's settling in as her role of prison lord. And this is what the prison looks all the way around. I've got to say it is an awesome, awesome build. As you can see, it's got some modern um, amenities and it will have a lot more modern amenities inside, but couldn't really do much about that because, you know, lots without modern um, amenities is very hard to find in The Sims. So there we go. I'm gonna get these ladies to knock on the doors. Hopefully they can get through these gates. Yep, come on. Yep, they're going to knock on the door. And, oh, she's already getting on fire. Go inside. Okay, there we go. Whoo! They're going in. Now this here is our lovely, lovely, lovely Brandy Foss. I gave her just a very minimalistic makeover. It's the same outfit pretty much as what Tony Dorman has. But um, there we go. We have that so that she looks more like a lord, you know? More like a prison lord. And she doesn't look... Um, she she didn't fit the thing like with her um, outfit last time when we initially got her um, she wasn't very lordly looking so there we go um, even though we said you know what she's not like the the macho type of or tough you know like like Kali she's not exactly like Kali or what we would expect of uh, a prison lord but we thought you know what. We shouldn't stick to stereotypes, and I feel like that's one of the things that makes the series very interesting and fun, is because a lot of the times, the people you think who are going to end up in certain positions or with certain storylines don't actually do that. So I think it's interesting to see how that all plays out. And there we go, that's her. Ophelia, who, which we haven't seen in ages. She looks like she's doing something on the computer, playing games, having fun. I'm glad prison life is suiting her. Um, but there we go, I've got that. Now I'm going to show you this place really quickly so you guys can uh, I don't know get to see that get to know that um, so over here we have like a sitting area at the front I'll make this really brief bathrooms we have a bunch of computers here which I would assume are or I thought were just for you know the other people who work under the prison lord but it seems like the uh, not the inmates the prisoners sorry Seems like the prisoners also can use these resources, which is interesting. Um, then we've got an interrogation room here, it seems. Ooh, looks like I know where to interrogate Ophelia, but that's going to be problematic because Ophelia seems to be over there. And since she's not in a household, that's going to be quite tough to get. But we should be able to figure something out. And then more bathrooms and... Um, what is this? This is a holding cell, it seems like. And then we've got other offices, we've got a kitchen area here, and they've obviously got recreational areas out here. And then, um, I don't know what this is for, this is obviously locked, it's a separate area, but it's, it's not a court or anything like that, or a gym place. So that's quite interesting, I think they've got two separate places where they can spend their time. And then you've got these stairs, you go up the stairs, and this is where the prisoners actually sleep and spend their time. There we go. So downstairs is where they spend their recreational time, obviously. Um, but they've got these tiny cells or uh, rooms that they actually reside in. So there we go. This one of these would be Ophelia's rooms. Um, and then up here we've got the rooftop, which is quite fun. And yeah, then we've got these kind of towers up here, but nothing too much. And there we go, I've got that. I think it's an awesome build. I absolutely love it. You guys should definitely download it, play it in your game, and maybe even let me know how you use this prison fort if you do decide to download it. Um, yeah, I made, I put the, um, whatchamacallit, 
in case you guys have forgotten, I did put the name and creator of this build in the description of the last video or the video before. No, in the video before the last video. There you go. So this is what, 31? Episode 29, I think. I'm pretty sure I put the stuff down where you guys can find it and stuff. And then in the last episode, episode 30, I put down the Creature Cradles um, building and also the, the churches. There we go. The Prey Gardens. So we have that going on. Ah, now these ladies, I'll get them on inside. And I don't know why this mailbox is in here. Don't know why. And oh. Okay then. Looks like the uh, prison lord just uh, went away. Interesting. She probably went on some other business of the queen, even though she didn't greet us. But that's fine. She went. We're not the queen. She doesn't have to greet us. She probably knows this is the. Uh, these are the warriors here for business. So she's off to do something else, as um, you know, prison lord should be doing. But Ophelia is on her own. So you know what? We're gonna get Kali to could uh, discuss interests. Sure. She's going to try and be cordial. And then perhaps... Oh, her energy is so low. Looks like Cynthia is going to have to take over this investigation for now because Kali's energy is super low. And I think she should actually get down to doing the... Ooh! <gasps> Gosh dang it! She had all these new powers we could have used. But she needs to do her meditation, her dark meditation, because her energy, I did not pay attention to that. I think it's because she was outside in the sun. So her energy drained heaps. Looks like she can't carry on this investigation for now. Looks like Cynthia is going to have to take over. So Cynthia, unfortunately, does not have those powers, the same ones that her mother does. But she is going to brood about being a vampire, sure. And then she's going to try and convince uh, Ophelia to come on and probably talk over here in this um, interrogation room. And see what she can find out. Because it does make sense. I mean, she is closer to Ophelia than her mother is. So perhaps she will have better luck trying to figure out what's going on there. So she's going to try and sit and chat with her over there. Come on, lady. Come on, darling. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. There we go. Okay, now Ophelia is coming too. I don't know. So the door is not locked. So we can't force her to stay there. So I don't know how long Ophelia is going to be willing to stay here and be interrogated and uh, how much she's going to tell Cynthia. I don't really know what's going on in her mind right now because we aren't playing as her, so I can't exactly tell. But it looks like she is irritated. <laughs> ah. Well, why don't we try and... Okay, she is she is uh, <laughs> irritated. We're going to try and uh, chat with her and figure out what's going on with that. Um, yeah, she's going to discuss plasma flavors and probably, you know, try and slowly dip into the topic of w what's going on with you. I don't think that this is what you would do. I don't feel like Cynthia doesn't think that Ophelia would do that on her own. So she's, I think, asking Ophelia, can you think of anything? Oh, looks like Ophelia is done with this conversation. <sighs> ah! She did in that brief exchange they had there, I think. She asked Ophelia, can you think at least, can you think of anything that, um, you know, might have influenced you perhaps to do that? Because in the past, when Kali has interrogated Ophelia, she hasn't had it or put out a clear motive. So there we go. She hasn't had a clear motive. All she, I think, told Kali... Or no, I think all she told Cynthia in this little bit here is that she can't control it. She just had the urge to do it, so she did it. It's like an addiction. She's told uh, Cynthia that. And I think Cynthia asked her, can you try and think of anything that might have made you this way or influenced you to do whatever you've done? And uh, I think that's when Ophelia had enough of the conversation and she walked out on them. There we go, we had that going on. Is Kali's energy, her energy is up a little bit. Can she influence Ophelia's emotions? Um, let's see. Uh, doesn't, I don't think she can. No, it doesn't, uh. What? Are we, we're not on Cynthia. We're on. What do you mean to train Lady Kali? I am clicking on Lady Kali. Yep, I don't, I don't know what's happening here. Uh, the game's glitching on me again. 
beautiful. But that's fine, that's fine. Um, looks like that's all we're getting done. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get anything else out of Ophelia right now, but at least you guys have seen where she's staying and what's happening here. But there we go. That's where we're at story-wise right now. And um, hopefully they can get maybe a little bit... I think Kali is going to try and have a turn at um, interrogating Ophelia once more before they head back to the castle. And um, yeah, see if she can get anything else out of her. And they might, she might even be discussing with Cynthia whatever she's um, talked to Ophelia about so, to try and see if they can connect the dots and find a few more clues as to, you know, the bigger picture or story. Because Ambrosia still hasn't told Kali anything. Ambrosia is kind of hiding her side of the truth, which is the mushrooms and the part she had to play in it. Um, which could honestly help out Ophelia, but for now it seems like she has been left in the dark by everyone. So there we go. With that done, I'm going to end off this part here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and don't forget to stick around for the machinima at the end. I'll see you guys in my next video and bye-bye. <laughs>